Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mick from the Late Night Vape Show and we're back to do a look round really. You can't really call it a review. This uh, device has been out since late 2015. It's the Noisy Cricket, the first version. It's the Joule 18650 series mod. I've got a 4.42 build in there uh, and it's it's kicking out some proper power for a, for a, um, a device that's come from that year. Uh, it's unbelievable. Some, uh, it kicks like a mule it's brilliant it's a cracking thing I'd, I've had it for uh, probably over a year and uh, I was talking to somebody just after I bought it and they said well they've, they've said that there's some build problems with it uh, and they're not safe so it actually put me off using it because I was only sort of pretty new to mechs anyway recently I bought a, uh, a conversion kit an upgrade kit from Fat Daddy's I actually got it from a place in Germany uh, we tried to get one from America a while back and uh, nothing ever happened from that but I, I gave it a Google and it, this time and it came up it was a, a, a shop in Germany uh, and it was well it was 20 quid that's how much it was so they sent it out and I've uh, popped it in put it together and uh, and now I'm enjoying it it's a, it's a pretty serious current vape really I've, I've got other uh, series and parallels and stuff like that and it kicks equal to those or probably a little bit harder uh, so anyway, I've, I've prepared a video to show you the different parts that they've done. There's the contacts at the bottom that they changed. Uh, the 510 pin was hybrid and they changed that as well. Uh, and they changed the button over because there were some problems with that. So we'll go through it and have a look at it. Uh, and just let you have a look because there's a lot of people what's heard about it and then probably never actually used one or seen one apart or that type of thing. So anyway, put the camera down and let you have a look. So we'll start by taking the bottom off the device, just a couple of screws there, and then the bottom pops off. Then we'll take a look at the uh, original contacts. These were sort of rounded at the top there. There was sort of a strip of tape in the middle there to stop them contacting onto the bottom of the uh, device when it's shoved together. But as you can see on this one, there's a piece of thick plastic and the uh, contacts are far more protruding than the uh, old ones were so they just fit in there and that piece of plastic uh, goes that's how it fits in goes on the top in contacts with the mod shall we say and then you just um, screw the bottom back on the only thing i found was that these screws are absolutely minute and if i dropped them on the floor i'd never have found them again and they were quite difficult to get back in as soon as you get them to, to rest then to screw back in in a second or two that's all So that's that done. Going round to the other end of the mod now, just to unscrew the uh, fire button and then the hybrid 510. Just using the tweezers there just to get it out. And that's that. So on the right hand side we have the hybrid 510 connection from the original Wizmec Noisy Cricket and on the left side we have the uh, floating 510 
which comes in the uh, Fat Daddy conversion kit. So now we'll turn the uh, 510 over. As you can see, 510 pin protrudes as it's a floating 510. The idea being as you uh, screw the atomizer on the top, the 510 pin then comes down, making a good connection on the top of the battery. Also, you can see a big insulator around there just to keep it safe. Moving on to the uh, bottom battery terminals now, the one on the left is the original one. A piece of um, metal just sort of rolled at the end, well, that's the idea of the batteries with a touch on there. A little thin piece of plastic in the middle there, uh, designed to stop arcing onto the, the mod itself, uh, but not very thick. On the right hand side we've got the new ones with the two big round battery terminals and the thick plastic in the middle to uh, stop it being able to arc onto the device. So now onto the buttons. On the left hand side we've got the original uh, Wismic one and um, there was sort of saying that the uh, there wasn't enough gap around the actual contact and the insulator at the side. Uh, you know that, that could possibly be unsafe so the on the Fat Daddy upgrade one as you can see the contact is a lot smaller in the middle which fits on the top of the battery better as you press it down uh, and the insulator is also made with glass um, around that one so possibly much safer so my uh, chosen batteries are the Samsung 25R which are uh, 20 amp batteries and it's in series configuration now it doesn't matter which side you put these batteries in as long as you get one positive at the top one negative at the top and you uh, screw the atomizer onto the positive and you uh, screw the button obviously onto the negative Now these buttons on the original buttons on the Wismic one were uh, there was no knurling on them, but on the uh, Fat Daddy version, on the upgraded version, you've actually got a knurling around the outside, which makes the button a lot easier to screw on. You've no need to put anything in there to screw it on, and off you go. Can you see me? <laughs> Now these devices aren't really for the uh, for people who are not experienced; they're more for experienced vapers who know Ohm's law and uh, and battery safety. Uh, obviously, these go in a, a, a series configuration, so you've got one going down, one going up, which is 8.4 volts. But these are 20 amp batteries in mine, so you only allow for one of the batteries for 20 amps. So you have to build accordingly. In my case, it's, I put a 0.42 in there. Uh, and that's within the parameters uh, for the battery. So I would say you really need to know what you're doing. You need to uh, know what, you, what batteries you're putting in and know what build. Uh, if you don't know, ask before you use it. <clears throat> I've been quite excited about using this for a while, but I don't use it. It was actually Batman that told me. He said, um, do you realise there has been some problems uh, with the, those devices? And you know, I thought, well, if Batman's saying it, it actually did put me off from using it. So we've been looking for this kit for a while. But I'm really impressed with it. I've got some um, pretty high end sort of stuff, uh, series, parallel, that type of thing, and this really holds its own with those. Um, if you think this is like 2016, well, that's when I started vaping, and middle of that year, I was sort of bought a smart, you know, TVF V4. Now, if you sort of fired that up today, you'd probably be quite disappointed in it, whereas uh, with this noisy cricket, I'm certainly not, I'll be honest. So that's it. Anyway, thank you very much. Thanks ever so much for uh, viewing this video. I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking around. If you've never seen one before, it would probably be quite interesting. And uh, if you have seen one before, it might be a blast from the past. Pardon the pun. And um, anyway, thank you very much for viewing. And thanks very much for your constant support on the channel. And hopefully we'll catch this way again. Thanks very much. Bye bye.